Alright, so we'll start off by inserting an attached canvas. You'll see I've uh, supplied a link to this in the description for the image, putting my opacity on 40, making sure it's displayed through so that I can see my sketch on top of the image as well. So we'll just insert this knuckle duster sketch that I've created. Right, I'm going to make sure that we just rescale this. Obviously, it's not according to scale, this is just for you know concepting purposes. Then I'm um, just going to select a center diameter circle. Make sure I'm referencing that middle point over there. And then I'm just going to draw out a circle here quickly. I think it's going to be 20.7 millimeters. All right, then I'll just be repeating that process again for this circle. So referencing the middle point, dragging it out, making sure it's 20.7 millimeters. Uh, but it does overlap the other circle here a little bit. So I'm going to have to select this edge. I'm going to press M, shortcut M for move, and I'm going to just select that middle point and drag this out a little bit so that it's not overlapping the other circle. Click on OK. We'll go back to the line tool and we'll just continue to complete our sketch here. So it's just a matter of basically following these lines, just tracing this. And you'll see when I get to this last point over here, we're actually going to be using the spline, the spline tool, so that we can create this bend that you see at the bottom. You know, so that the knuckle duster just fits nicely in your hand. So there you can see I selected the spline tool. And you'll see, you'll see I'm creating a half a sketch here because we're going to use the mirror function uh, to mirror this to the other side. Okay, selecting the line tool again, completing off the sketch. And now you'll see between those two circles at the top, uh, I've actually strategically placed these lines at a particular point, but I don't follow the sketch exactly. I'll place these out, uh, I'll place the distance out a little bit further, but it's very important that we place these lines here because we'll be applying a fillet to them, and that's actually what's going to give us those nice uh, curves, which you'll see later on. And you'll see I'm placing a point in the middle there because we're going to be referencing from that point to mirror uh, the sketch. Then, of course, just selecting all of these lines so that I can complete the mirror function. See, my mirror line is going to be that line that I just drew in the middle there. Okay, <coughs> hide the canvas. You'll see it's mirrored. It. Uh, now, I'll have to draw these lines in the middle as well, but the distance here is a bit too far. So, I'm just going to select all of these edges again, and I'll be pressing the shortcut M. And I'll just be moving the sketch a little bit closer to that other circle. See, select all the lines, press M, and just move it closer to the other circle here. And now, because I've done that, there's certain sketches that are overlapping each other right now, and it's here at the bottom, so I'm just going to use the trim, uh, the trim function, just to trim off these lines here at the bottom. Just to make sure our sketch is clean. And now I can proceed to draw these lines here again. Okay, uh, so now the next step we'll actually be using the offset function to create uh, the, the placement for our fingers over here, so that, that circle where the fingers go through, and I'm just putting it at a particular distance that I'm happy with. I think it's minus 2.5. And you'll see it actually uh, remembers that particular distance, so if I right click, go repeat offset, and I just click on the edge, it automatically inputs 2.5, so I can just repeat that process really quickly. And now you'll see, usually with knuckle dusters, at the top of the knuckle duster, it's, uh, it's basically like a hard, a hard edge. So I'm just drawing that in the sketch. And again, um, in order to get this line to the other side, we'll just be using the mirror function again. So you'll see there, selecting that line and mirror. Mirror line's going to be that line we place in the center, and we've got that over on the other side. And just going to trim off that line here at the top to keep our sketch nice and clean. And we've completed our sketch for our knuckle duster. So now I'm going to select uh, this entire sketch here, making sure I'm selecting all of those lines as well that we drew earlier. And we will be able to apply an extrude to this to create it as a solid body. Seven millimeters was a a good distance for me, created as a new body. Now you can see we've got our basic object here. 
So we're going to be applying a lot of fillet strategically to actually create the overall shape of our knuckle duster. So this is where these these particular lines uh, will come in handy. You'll see I'm selecting all of those edges and I'm going to apply a fillet to these edges. And you'll see over time as we apply these fillets, this shape will begin to evolve and you'll actually start to see the knuckle duster taking shape. So it's just all about strategically placing these fillets to get that desired shape. Alright, so we'll repeat that again at the top by selecting all of these edges and then applying the fillet again. As you can see, now it's really starting to take shape. And that's why I said it's important that we place those lines there uh, because these fillets, they just blend uh, dynamically with, with the circles that we drew out earlier. And I'm just selecting those top edges as well because it is a hard edge, but I'm adding a little bit of a soft transition here. Yeah? So just it looks a little bit better in the renders as well. Okay, continuing. Uh, we're going to continue to place some more fillets here. You'll see it's really going to start taking shape now. Okay, last bit of fillets to get the final shape of our knuckle duster and then we'll be applying some more fillets just so uh, it gives a little bit of a, a softer feel and uh, basically when we apply these next set of fillets uh, when there's a particular lighting condition it basically captures that lighting condition really nicely you'll see I'm selecting these edges again and applying our final set of fillets on these edges and the area for our fingers as well So like I said guys, I think uh, I'll do more of these tutorials. It's just really, really quick tutorials to show you how to create pretty simple objects, but uh, I'm sure there's some techniques and uh, that you can learn from this and just see my overall approach to creating uh, objects like this. So we've created this knuckle duster really, really quickly. You can go ahead and 3D print this or use it in whatever projects you want to use it in. And we've created our knuckle duster. All right. Just looking for a particular material here, aluminium satin. Okay. Okay, so you can see we've got our classic knuckle duster here uh, with these, basically these hard, hard edges with a soft transition. Because uh, if you if you look at images of knuckle dusters, you'll see that these particular parts are usually hard like this, so that <laughs> when you actually hit someone, it's going to cause quite a lot of pain. Uh, but if you wanted to, you guys could go back to the sketch and um, let me just unhide that. And you guys could actually stay with that classic round shape. It's completely up to you. Uh, and if you wanted this distance over here, because I know your fingers will be spread quite far apart because of this overall distance. If you wanted to decrease this distance, uh, you'll see like you'll see like how I offset to this earlier, you'll just have to basically let me just do that quickly. You'll have to make the offset distance over here not that great uh, not that far. It's probably up until there so that when you actually blend these edges together that distance uh, won't be so far apart from each other. Uh, but yeah, you guys can go and play around, uh, see what you can come up with. You can add some more details onto this so we can sketch on top of this. Maybe add some more circles on here, make some cuts. It's completely up to you guys. All right. Okay, guys, so we've reached the end of our tutorial. 
You'll see I just applied a aluminium satin material onto the knuckle dusters. And since we applied this fillet earlier, it's actually catching that lighting information really nicely. Uh, and then you'll see with this knuckle duster, I went for that classic spiked knuckle duster. And if you actually want to create these spikes, it's really simple. So I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll create a center diameter circle here quickly. And if I select this sketch and I say extrude, there's an option here called taper. So we basically want to apply a negative taper. So I'll say minus 15. And you'll see it'll give us like a particular, and obviously you can drag on the slider to determine how sharp you want your taper to be and then yeah that's basically it how I created those spikes and yeah that's it guys uh, we've created these knuckle dusters so now you can go ahead and 3d print these if you really want to uh, but you've seen how I how I break down a sketch and how I strategically place uh, fillets to create this particular object all right so thanks for watching guys stay tuned for some more tutorials all right goodbye